Hello and welcome to Mr. Thompson's Math Tutorials. Today we're going to be talking about solving problems with percentages. Alright, so I have this uh, percent problem right here. And, and the key thing I want you to understand about solving any percent problem is that anytime I have a percent problem, I'm going to give you three of the four things you need to solve this problem. And what I want you to do is identify a fractional proportion proportional relationship between the two. Now we know that a percent is already a fraction. A percent is a fraction out of a hundred. So 60 percent is really 60 out of a hundred. With 60 being the part and a hundred being the whole. Now what I want to do is I want to identify the same sort of relationship on the other side of this equal sign right here. So 300 is either my part or my whole that's going to match with either my 60, 60 up here, which is my part, or my 100 down here, which is my whole. Now I can see that this is asking what is 60% of 300, so 300 must be my whole in this case. And what I would be looking for is this part right here. Okay, so now what I need to do is I need to find this fourth piece of information. I've been given three of the four things that I, I need. I must find the fourth. This is my first piece of information, my second piece of information, my third, and I'm looking for the fourth. Now, what I need to do is I need to figure out how I can make 100 into 300 by multiplying or dividing. Now, in this case, I can just multiply by 3. So when I multiply uh, the bottom by 3, I must also multiply the top by 3. So I'm going to multiply times 3. 60 times 3 is 180. So I know that 60% uh, of 300 equals 180. Now, let's look at this in a different context. Um, because that was a relatively easy problem. Uh, but I wanted you to see that what we're looking for is this whole part, part, whole, whole relationship. Um, so I'm going to scroll up here to the second problem, which is what is 35% of 80? So once again, I want to set up a proportional relationship with 35 over 100 being my first fraction. Again, the 35 is the part, the 100 is the whole. Now, what is 35% of 80? 80. 80 would be my whole, and I'm going to be looking for this fourth part right here, which is my part. Now, I have to think to myself, 100 times what is 80? Now, there is actually a number, but, you know, it's going to be a decimal. It's going to be a little bit complicated. So what I might want to do is actually simplify a little bit. If I was to simplify this by dividing top and bottom by 10, what I'd end up with would be something like this. I would end up with um, 100 divided by 10 being 10 and 35 divided by 10 being 3.5. Now what I can do is I can multiply this to get 80. So 10 times 8 is 80 and 3.5 times 8, well I gotta figure that out, so 3.5 times 8. 8 times 5 is 40, I carry my 4. 8 times 3 is uh, 24, plus 4 is 28. I have one decimal place right here in the question, that means 1 in the answer, and this is going to give me 28. Okay, now what happens if I'm missing a different piece of information? So in this question, it says if 40% of a number is 24, what is the whole number? So once again, I'm going to set up my proportional relationship, my, my fractions. This is my part, this is my whole. Now it's saying that 40% of a number is 24. So that would tell me that that is actually a part. So I don't know my whole in this case, but I do know my part. So my question would be, how do I get 40 to be 24? And again, this is not so easy, but what I could do is take it down and then multiply out. So for instance, um, 40 divided by 10 would be 4, and 100 divided by 10 would be 10. So I'm dividing by 10, top and bottom here by 10. Now, I know that 4 times 6 is 24. So 10 times 6 would be 60. 
which would tell me that 40% of, I was looking for 60 here as an answer, is 24. All right, now what happens if I have a question that's asking for a percent? I still, believe it or not, have three of the four pieces of information I need to know. Now, I'm, it's saying what percent of 40 is 32? So I need to figure out which is my whole and which is my part. Now, obviously, the, the 40 is the whole. So I'll put the 40 here. And 32 would be the part. So there's my part. There's my whole. And I still know my whole down here, which is 100. Okay, because it's any percent, you're always going to have 100. So now I have to ask myself, 40 times what is 100? Again, I'm not, you know, I don't want to make my life complicated, so I'm going to make this a little bit simpler. I'm going to divide top and bottom here by 4. So 40 divided by 4 is giving me 10. 10 is one of those magical numbers that you always want to try and find, especially with percents. So if I divide 40 by uh, 4, I must divide 32 by 4, which would give me 8. Now I can multiply 10 times 10 to give me 100 on the bottom, and then I would do 10 times 8 to give me 80 over here, which would say that 80% of 40 is equal to 32. Thank you for watching.